Why is Pluto no longer a planet? When it comes to the list of planets in our galaxy, Pluto has been at the end of the list since 1930. But one day that changed. What happened? It all began in 1930. Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh as the ninth planet of the solar system. But it was actually a little girl that named the planet. Venetia Burney was 11 years old when she suggested the name to her grandfather over breakfast in Oxford, England. She thought the god of the underworld would be a good name for the cold planet furthest from the sun. Her grandfather submitted the name to the Lowell Observatory. It got accepted. That's where the story of Pluto starts. The planet itself has an equatorial diameter of 2,377 kilometers, about one-fifth of Earth. Its orbit, unlike other planets, is oval-shaped and tilted. On average, its distance from the sun is 39 times the that of the Earth's from the sun. It's so far that it takes sunlight 5.5 hours to travel to Pluto. Pluto is also distinct from most of the other planets that its rotational axis is almost horizontal. Tilted at 57 degrees, it spins almost on its side. With all this data on Pluto, what changed its categorization? How did it stop being a planet? As technology grew better and astronomers could see further into space, they began noticing several weird things about Pluto. First, it's small. It's smaller than Earth's moon. Second, its orbit is strange. One orbit for Pluto is 248 Earth years. Because of its elliptical shape, the planet ended up within Neptune's orbit for 20 years. Between 1979 to 1999, it was the eighth planet, not the ninth. But the final nail in the coffin was the discovery of the Kuiper Belt. This is a vast population of icy spatial bodies past Neptune's orbit. And these icy spatial bodies were all eerily similar to Pluto, including Eris. Discovered in 2005, it was an icy world with a very elliptical orbit, around the same size as Pluto, or even larger. If Pluto is a planet, then Eris would be a planet too. But would all the other bodies in the Kuiper Belt be planets as well? So NASA had to redefine the meaning of the category planet. This is why Pluto is now a dwarf planet, along with its Kuiper Belt siblings. People are still upset about the change to this day. What do you think? Should Pluto have stayed a planet?